I was just looking back at the footage for the last couple days and I thought that it might need some explaining. So we're starting out on the 24th. Good morning. It is October 24th and um, I'm just really happy. I just got a, a really good email. I'm really happy about. I'm getting ready to transfer some of my Inktober sketches over to watercolor paper. I'm going to transfer two since I finished cutting all of my paper for the rest of the Inktober yesterday using the stuff that Arteza sent me. I don't think I said this in the video, the last video, because I think yesterday was the last day of it, but I'm actually really, really happy with the cutting mat they sent me. Like, I didn't expect it to be much of a difference, but already I've noticed that my old cutting mat has like ridges in it from cutting, even though it's also a self-healing mat, but the one Arteza sent me, like, doesn't it's still completely smooth like it's amazing also the other side i thought it was black but it's actually gray which is way better so i could totally just paint on either side and i wouldn't have to worry about it washing out my painting so i'm really happy uh, i like the white side a lot definitely since i've been wanting to paint my desk white this kind of helps with that it looks really nice and i don't want to get it dirty <laughs> but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and transfer two inktober drawings onto watercolor paper. It'd be great if I could get both done, but if I only get one done, that would be awesome. I kind of want to try like here towards the end to start um, getting a little bit ahead because I still need to finish scanning in all of the drawings. And of course I'll need to edit those because I want to do prints and a zine maybe. Well, a very small run of a zine, like they would be really limited. Right now I'm thinking about getting like 10 maybe just because I'm not sure what the interest would be for that. I could always get more printed. I'm sure there won't be like a crazy demand or anything, but I need to get ahead so I can get all of the files and everything together and get those shipped off, not shipped off, sent off to the companies <laughs> so I can get stuff printed as quick as possible. And so I just wanna add a bunch of colors for the tip. So I just I took things pretty easy that day. I originally planned on finishing two drawings that day, but after finishing the first one, my wrist actually started hurting. So I did lots of stretching and ended up just watching some TV for the rest of the night to let it rest. 25th was also a pretty uneventful day. I inked the drawing I had transferred onto watercolor paper the day before. Then after that, I started working on my vlog edit, which I still haven't finished. to begin to drift south and eastward. The central and eastern parts of Kansas will very probably be cloudy in the morning, and then western Kansas will begin to get increasing cloudiness by tomorrow afternoon. Today, however, a very, very pleasant reading. 73 up in the Goodland area, 72 at Garden City, 70 reported by Dodge City and Liberal, 72 two, two over by the good folks of Guar.
And in the Park of City Blackwell area, 68 degrees today. Winds southerly at about 15 with gusts to 25 miles an hour. Barometric pressure 30.00 and is rising. And no precipitation. We're about a half inch behind. Correction, half inch ahead for the year and one and 53 hundredths behind for the for the year so far. We'll be looking for a little bit of a change tomorrow and of course the possibility of some scattered showers. Today, of course, there's nothing showing up on the radar. However, the satellite photo was pretty interesting for the western half of the U.S. Rain showers and thunder showers along that frontal system that wide band of fairly heavy snow is know what will happen each time that you see the frontal system on there that begins at six o'clock in the morning and then you'll see the cloud pattern move until two o'clock this afternoon so as of that time of course the front was way off in the northwest now however it's moving into the central part of the nation with a couple of high pressure sex cells behind it and a few pockets of low pressure and a fairly heavy band of rain showers and snow all the way from the eastern portions of Montana down to western sections of Nevada and of course the massive high picking up warm moist air from the south bringing it northward so when the two masses collide over Kansas we are looking for some precipitation and we'll talk about that in a moment. And then the 26th. Now this is where things started to get a bit rough. Bo and I went to renew his license. So firstly, we had to drive all the way to the other side of Tulsa to one of the two DMVs, or not DMVs, public departments of public safety, public department of, what is it? Public department of safety office, which was located in a mall-like building for some reason. So we got there, we waited in line, and when we got to the front, they just told us, yeah, you have to have a ticket and then with your with a number on it and then you can come in when we call for you which was crazy because i feel like they could have just told us that when we walked in the building instead of in the office instead of waiting letting for instead of letting us walk wait in the line only to have to go get a ticket so we got our ticket we got our number and we sat out in this like area with a bunch of tables with maybe like 50 other people who were also waiting which we thought were just like eating lunch or something because it looks like a food court it was about this point i realized that i probably should have brought my sketchbook and maybe even my inking like supplies Bo looked it up and the internet said that some people have waited over four hours and sometimes you don't even get helped in the same day and you have to come back like multiple days which we really didn't want to do so we ended up waiting a little over two hours which is crazy for me coming from a small town where 45 minutes is like a really long wait we left like first thing in the morning so we hadn't had any coffee or any food so by the time we left our backs hurt from the terrible chairs and we were hungry and i had a headache from not having any coffee but we still needed to go to a dmv and go grocery shopping so we went there and Oklahoma driver's licenses are crazy. It only lasts four years and it costs like $44, which is twice as much as my Missouri one. So I'm pretty glad that I still have a couple years left on mine. So hopefully we'll be out of the state by then. After that, we were finally on our way to go shopping. So we stopped off at our local Asian market to get some necessities like bean threads, curry, soy sauce, and we actually ended up getting some mochi that was recommended to us from the lady who was working, which I loved, by the way. We ate the whole box in the first day, which usually we like to like eat a little bit of snacks and then save them and 
you know, savor them. So we finally got home around 5.30 and got to work on cooking our first meal of the day. I didn't have a sketch ready for the day, so after finishing up that, I finally got to work on my Inktober piece around 8.30 at night. And even though it was a little rushed, I still quite liked how it turned out. up finishing it around 11 30 at night but i took a break somewhere in the middle to like eat again <laughs> and then decided to go ahead and take the picture and post it the next morning the 27th was a much better day it was Bo's birthday so we slept in a little bit i made him breakfast and we ate slowly while eating tv and just hanging out a little bit before i left to go work on my inktober piece and he started to work on his own projects Only I could have helped you. 
After finishing up my Inktober drawing, I started some spicy chocolate sugar cookies for him, and then went back to work on editing some. Uh, <laughs> went back to work on editing a few Inktober scans. When we were both happy with our progress for the day, we stopped and started making some curry, baking some tofu ahead of time to add in along with carrots, onions, and mushrooms. It was amazing. We ate more cookies and went to bed super full after hanging out and watching TV for a couple more hours. So that's the last couple of days. I wanted to hop in and add a little bit of context to what I filmed. I'm not sure how, how I'll edit this one, but let me know what you think. Also, all of my Inktober drawings are going to be for sale at the end of the month. By the time I get this up, they might already be listed, so there will be a link down in the description to my shop if you want to get one for yourself. There should also be pre-orders for prints and zines should be up as soon as possible. I hope you're having a good week. I will see you soon for the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.